Hello everyone, welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's AR video. I just recorded this video, and I realized I didn't have my microphone on. So, let's go. I get to do this a second time. But, um, this is a tutorial on how mods work. How you get them, why you should use them, and just their general overall purpose in life. So, um, we're gonna start off on how you get mods. Mods can be get gotten through rare animatronics or skins or friend animatronics. So rare animatronics being every animatronic except for Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. And Foxy might actually get some mods if you kill him, but I'm not too sure on that. Um, but yeah. Whenever I fight friend animatronics, I always get mods for some reason. It happens very frequently. If you watch any of my uh, fighting your animatronic videos, you'll see th at the end of every one of those that there's at least one mod that comes out. I've Sometimes you can actually get more than one once I've gotten three mods from one fight, which is kind of insane. Um, and you can also get mods through event stuff. So all the event skins, all the uh, than actual animatronics you can also get mods for. Um, so yeah. So, let's go over why you should use mods. Mods are good because you can use them to torture people at greater lengths. You can buff stuff, like increase the amount of shake re required to clear disruption by 30%. That's not even a maxed out mod. And 30% is quite a bit and what that mod is saying is that when you put that on a friend animatronic the person fighting it will have to shake their phone a lot more than you would normally if you didn't have that mod on which would probably cause some irritation if for cer certain these mods are kind of insane like um increase the chance of haywire if you get a four star mod with that y you're basically a god because haywires are so annoying to deal with Unless you do my strat that I have in my FNAF VR guide video. But, yeah. So, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, and some of these mods you can't pair together. Like this one where it says increase shake of disruption by 40%. You can't use that with a mod that is, if I can find it, I think this one wrong 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 okay well i don't know which one it is but it's one of these and um it basically is just like the so the clear disruption thing there's another one that uh has disruption occur more often which you can't pair those two together because um I guess they're, they would just be way too OP if you had two four-star mods of that and you would get tons of shake and a lot of disruption at the same time, which, I, I mean, I, I agree with that. That's kind of annoying. Uh, but yeah, so you can't use every mod you desire in one thing. You have to set with four, and they can't be of the same type. Like, you can't have two Haywire mods together, you can't have two Disruption mods together, or two Speed mods together. But, um, yeah. Another thing to say is that you can sell mods. If you have anything below 4-star, and you don't want to use them, just sell them. Like this one right here, 23 parts. Boom. Free 23 parts. And I have tons of those that aren't 4-stars that I'll probably go sell later, because I don't want them clogging up my storage because it's kind of annoying honestly but um yeah and you can see i have 10 of these duct tape friction regulators which uh, what does that do decrease the time before it closes to attack by player yes um which those only sell for three parts because it's a one star which I, I it's pretty useless honestly three parts in this game is nothing but uh yeah you can sell all the mods you don't want for quite a hefty amount of parts, like these. This three star is worth 83. Um, if I can find a four star, then I'll show you how much that's worth. 
a beep, 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 a four stars worth 183. And I think that part difference differs between what type of mod it is. So let's say this this one right here with the disruption mod. A haywire four star mod might sell for 200 parts, while this one would only sell for 180. Uh, so that's something to also keep in mind, I guess. Uh, I will now go over every type of mod and what they do. And the first one is a duct tape EM booster, which increases a chance of disruption by 10%, like what I was talking about earlier. It, um, disruption happens way more often. Of course, 10% is not that much, but if you had a three or four star mod, then it would be uh, quite a big difference, honestly. And then down here, this one is increase the amount of shake required to clear disruption by 40%. That's a four star mod. 40% is pretty big for that. So if you have that equipped and the shaking is a thing, then people might have a hard time with that because if an animatronic charges at you while the static has an increased shake time, that would be pretty, pretty annoying, honestly. And then going down the line here, we have this one, increased chance of haywire by the 8%. Of course, that's a one-star mod, so that would be better for higher mods. But that one's pretty self-explanatory. It just increases the chance of haywire. Uh, this one here, duct tape broadband jammer. That's a weird name. Decreases locational static by 10%. That basically means when you're moving your camera around and you see the static for where the animatronic is, then that is decreased, so it's harder to see where the animatronic you're fighting is, which a four-star mod on that would be pretty, pretty good. And there's also salvage mods right here, so increases chance of common salvage by 20%, increases part salvage by 10%. Now, a thing I completely forgot to mention earlier is that you can also get mods from salvaging. I mean, I don't know how many people salvage because it's kind of useless, honestly, but I mean, you can still salvage if you really, really want to get those mods and you don't want to get up to 10, 15 streak, try to get some babies or spring traps spawning. Then, um, yeah, you can always do it that route. I have no, I have gotten like a couple mods from salvaging, but... I don't get them that often, honestly. It's pretty uncommon. But then again, I never salvage, so that's probably why. Um, and this mod here increases chance of rare salvage. Rare salvage are things as like mods and remnant and high quantities of parts, like 100 up parts. So if you were looking for mods, you would probably want to get an animatronic with a good rare salvage mod and a good whatever this one is, which is common salvage and part salvage. So yeah, this one here increases the frequency of salvage checks by 10%, which basically means when you're salvaging an animatronic and it's going around picking up stuff, it basically just picks up more things quicker. So like if you, I don't know if you can even pair this cause I don't use salvage mods, but if you use um, this one, Paired with the rare salvage, then it would pick up more rare salvage more often, so you get a higher chance of picking up Ruminator mods and whatnot. Uh, down here we have. Oh, this is a, not a. Wow, I can't remember what it is called. Salvage, that's, it's not a salvage. Increases animatronic speed in camera mode by 5%. I mean, that's a one star mod. So then again, it'll be better the higher mod you get but speed is key the faster the animatronic is the more higher of a chance you are to kill someone with it so i think that's a pretty good mod very useful if you can get a high one i've honestly personally never gotten a four star mod of that type but they're out there increased time before it closes to attack by player by 15 percent this mod yeah, this one is the one where it just basically makes the fight last longer 
and it takes longer for the animatronic to use their final rush. Um, that's the same one. Right here, that's the same one. Increases stalking time, that's basically the amount of time it is on the map, which I don't get that. I don't know why that's even a thing, it's so pointless to me. But, moving down, and that's it. Anyway, um, there's a rundown on mods in the game. Uh, so if you needed to know how to get them or anything like that, then, well, there you go. Just told you how to do everything. Um, I don't think you can get mods through gifts. So, I mean, I've gotten tons of gifts, so I don't think you can get them through that. But, uh, yeah, so, I hope, oh, also, one other thing to mention is you, I mean, if you've looked in the shop, you would know this already, but you can't buy mods with parts or coins or whatever, so you can only get them through gameplay, uh, so that's a thing, just so you all know, but, okay, enough of me talking about mods, that's all I have for today's video, um, hope you enjoyed, hope I taught you something you didn't know. And if I didn't teach you something you didn't know, then, I mean, hopefully you enjoyed it anyway. Um, yeah, I am going to see you in the next video. Good bye bye